Hey guys, what up? So this is just a follow up on the last video I did. And uh, in that video, I was talking, I was answering a question. And the, the question was really about how all these different jobs out there, they're asking for everything under the sun. They're asking for 15 million different things. Um, and, and there's a difference between asking for like 15 million different programming languages, you know, Java, uh, and then, you know, and then jumping into like uh, JavaScript, C Sharp, PHP, whatever. Like you start asking for all those types of different skills and you're not being reasonable. And most likely what you're seeing is a, is a job description um, that is like for most likely uh, IT recruiting firms and, and you know, just uh, consulting companies that could be dealing with any one of a number of technologies so they want you know people that are that are skilled in all these different areas that they can uh you know turn to so that is like the first thing and that's kind of the why i was like well you know don't really worry about that um and you know find find the you know the the, the jobs that are more reasonable now uh, that said there are still jobs where it's like hey we need you to know a little bit about stored procs. Uh, we need you to know what TFS is, how to use, uh, you know, what, what version control system is, how to how to deal with, you know, get, um, you know, deal with merge conflict. Basically, just the you know, typical day to day, uh, you know, development stuff that, that you'll find, like with .NET and and, and its infrastructure. You're going to deal with a lot of, you know, they'll, they'll ask for things like uh, C Sharp and, and Visual Basic, and then also they'll ask you about certain things like if you're not using Git, you're going to be using like uh, TFS for version control and they want to know whether or not you want to know about agile methodologies and if you don't know about any of this stuff and in many of cases uh, you probably wouldn't if you had, hadn't had the job before um, or had a development job before uh, so so companies that are not willing to train you on those things yeah, they're gonna ask for those specific skill sets now the thing is is like when they mention oh tfs like you don't have to be a, a tfs admin or a tfs expert but you need to know what a tfs task is and like how to associate a task with a check-in and uh, and things like that so those are those are basic things and even a lot of companies will still be willing to work with you uh in training you on those specific things for instance i once took a job as a developer where they knew i had never used git in a professional capacity they didn't care because they, based on my previous experience and everything um, they felt that I would be able to learn it. And that's basically what they told me. They're like, oh, you'll learn it no problem, you know, one or two weeks. And, you know, and, and it probably was one or two weeks. It's really all it was. Uh, and I thought it would be a lot more. Uh, but am I a Git expert? No, I'm not a Git expert. Like I could just, I would be able to move into a development shop that uses Git or I could use one that uses uh, TFS for version control. But uh, either way, I'll be able to just kind of slide into either one of those. Um, but that's also because I have eight years of experience in doing this stuff and also being able to slide into new technologies and everything. Um, so let me get back on the point. The, what I wanted to follow up in the previous video and what I failed to mention, and, and really the most important thing probably, and, and I would say, um, and really I speak for, for, from, from definitely from an American experience, but I honestly would, would venture to say that it's probably the same in pretty much every, every country out there. So definitely United States and Canada, I would, I would think are the same uh, in this sense. Uh, and that is that there is one golden there's one golden thing that you need to know as far as getting a job in, in the IT world. Uh, or really, there's one golden factor that is the golden factor that stands out head and shoulders among the rest. Um, and that is drum roll. It's all about who you know. It really is. It's about who you know, who can vouch for you, and who has that 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 ability to get you that job you know and and that is the most important thing that's why you don't want to be an asshole that nobody wants to work with if you know somebody on the inside that can that can truly vouch for you and usually that comes from working in the same professional capacity it's like hey chris uh i'm a youtube subscriber to your channel couldn't you vouch for me no dude i can't now i can't put my professional career on the line if like i truly have never worked with you uh, and in a professional capacity, now, th there's people that I've worked with, though, that I know. And then there, there are certain people that I know just based on the conversations I've had on my YouTube channel that I know would be good developers, but I still couldn't vouch for you that, uh, you know, that that's it. So it, it's just part of the thing. It's like in order for somebody to truly vouch for you, typically speaking, you have to have worked with those guys. Like you had to have worked on projects. You kind of have to know what their work ethic is like as far as like do they show up on time? Are they cleansy? You know, do they do they take showers and things like that? Steve Jobs didn't take a shower. Nobody wanted to work with him at Atari because he stunk so bad. Like he had to work night shift because he stunk so bad, because he thought that because of his all fruit diet that he didn't have to take showers and things like that. Those are little things that you will quickly realize about somebody once you start working with them day in and day out. Um, but it, it's 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 those reasons why you can't just vouch for somebody over on an online 
uh, through an online per, you know uh, relationship compared to like in per person or something like that. But but yeah, that is the golden rule. Unfortunately, it's all about who you know. It's always been that way um, as far as I know, and especially in the United States, uh, it just. It just is, man. Um, uh, anyway, it, it is about what who you know, and the reason why I I, I kind of wanted to create a separate video on that, but that is the most important facet to what I was discussing in the previous video um, about how I told you not to worry about all that different stuff. You're gonna pick up on the skills that these companies need you to have once you get your first job. You're gonna pick up like seventy percent of all those skills you need. We're gonna completely reinvent the wheel every few months with new technologies and things like that. Um, that's that's inevitable, but you're gonna learn it quicker and everything. But once you have that job, you have that experience, and the experience speaks for itself. Once you have that, now getting that that experience though, that is the hard part. That it that boils down to literally, do you know somebody that can get you in, um, or get, do you just become creative and and do things like you know uh, developer boot camps? Do you get your computer science degree? Uh, do you do you start your own business and, and build your own portfolio? Do you contribute to open source projects? Do you just answer questions all day on Stack Overflow? You know, there's all kinds of different things that you can do to pad your resume. Um, anybody that's looking for a job and trying to get in this industry, I definitely think you should have at least some sort of website out there, something showcasing, hey, this is my GitHub, this is this, this is that. You know, just there's no reason not to these days. There's really no reason not to. It's so easy. Um, but, all right, guys, that's it, man. Uh, I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet. Thanks for watching, man. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Definitely, uh, definitely appreciate the support. All right, guys, take care. Bye.